Hey everybody, it's Maria from cardbomb.blogspot.com. I'm so glad to have you back here today for this tutorial on tiny treat boxes with alcohol ink spritzing. The first thing that we're going to do today is grab a piece of shimmery white cardstock, some archival black ink, and your watercolor word stamp set. Ink up your stamp and press it firmly onto the paper to get a nice impression. Next, grab your spritzers, have them filled with alcohol and drops of whatever color reinker you choose to use. I've chosen Island Indigo, Berry Burst, and Lemon Lime Twist. It's kind of a funny color combo, but I think it works. Now, there's a little bit too much water on this paper, and I don't like the way that the Berry Burst is pooling, so I'm going to use a paper towel and just dab up a little bit of that excess water. Next, I'm going to grab my heat tool and just give it a little bit of a quick dry before I hit it with a little bit more color. Now, as I'm watching this video back, I'm just now noticing that the paper towel left lines in the ink, and so you might want to be careful about that. It didn't matter to me, um, but if it is going to matter to you, just make sure that when you're picking up color with your paper towel, you don't leave any markings that you're not going to be happy with. So I've added some extra color and dried it again and picked up my grid paper and there you can see how neat those colors do end up looking together at least if you're into 80s grunge I might be so what you just saw there was my two and a half inch circle punch and yes it is retired but it's awesome and I still like to use it so as you can see I didn't stamp my sentiment close enough to the edge and I had to trim my paper town to be able to punch out my sentiment no big deal easy fix Okay, now that our stamping, spritzing, and punching are done, we are ready to get our box assembled. You're going to start with a piece of paper that's three and a half by five and a half inches wide, and you're going to score it at one and a half, one, three, and three and a half inches. And then just go ahead and fold it. Going to put adhesive on that edge right there, and this is what your box will look like once it's put together. I made these with three colors, Berry Burst, Lemon Lime Twist, and Island Indigo. For the belly band, you're going to use a piece of DSP that's one and a half by seven and a half inches, and you're going to score at one and a quarter, one and three quarters, four and three quarters, five and a quarter, and then you're going to fold it all up. Now that inside edge there is the side that's going to have the adhesive on it. So before you go ahead and close up the box, put the adhesive on, but don't close it quite yet. First, grab whatever treat that you're going to be using. In my case, it's a Hanuta Mini. Put it inside of the box, and now you're ready for your belly band. So you've already got the adhesive on. Wrap those folds right around the corners, line it up, and it's perfect, and it's tight, and it won't fall off. So I used my layering scallop circles to cut out that basic black scallop circle, and I'm going to layer my sentiment piece right on top of that using Tombow glue. Now there was an imperfection on that circle that was bothering me from punching my paper out while it was still wet, so I decided to switch for a better looking sentiment piece. Now I'm going to put mini dimensionals onto my box and I'm going to use four so that my circle won't flatten once I put it on. Next I'm going to grab a strip of shimmery black ribbon about one and a half to two inches long and I'm going to use a glue dot just to fold it in half and make sure it'll stay folded in half. I'm going to take a second glue dot and put that right on top of that um, middle of the ribbon so that it can stick easily onto the back of my sentiment. And now that whole thing will just go easily right on top of my box. And that's it. Easy peasy. Now the lighting on my table isn't doing these sentiment pieces justice, so I want to give you a closer look just so you can see how vibrant they truly are and the neat color variation that I was able to get. They are also really sparkly and that's just from the shimmery white cardstock that I've used. That's it for today, folks. Thank you for stopping by. If you're interested in purchasing any of the products that I used, go ahead and check the description below for a link to both my blog and my shop. Have an awesome day, you guys, and I'll see you all back here real soon. P.S. Today's video is part of the Creating Kindness Design Team blog hop. Check the description below for links to all of my teammates and check out the amazing videos they've got to share with you today.